And there's probably a couple other ways. I think there's one with a brush tool you might can do, but I just wanted to do this one right quick just to see if it will work. So that experiment proved fruitful information. Hey there everybody and welcome back to the Digital Paul Workshop. It is I, the opacity slider to make sure layers play hide and seek, techno meow tinkerer. And today we're going to cover how to fade or blend one image into another in the photo editing program called Krita. So let's log on in. Now this here is a um, picture from uh, when I first started my channel, I was trying to create my background with Automatic 11.11. And let me get myself out of the way here first. Let's see, flip myself vertically, because I'm going to be needing the right side of the screen. But yeah, I had did this one when I was trying to figure out, trying to come up with the background. As, but I held on to all that stuff just in case I ever want to use them for anything. But that's something an art teacher told me back in high school, never throw anything away. And so when it comes to keeping this, I end up keeping a lot. There's a few I end up do deleting. But the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in, slide in, bring in a picture of me. Okay, who got me in this compromising position? Looks like I'm doing something crazy. I'm going to transform it, bring it on down. Whoops, don't want to tilt it. I want to resize it. Yeah, I don't have to actually be 100% perfect. I just want to get myself in frame. Okay, so one of the first ways you can kind of set your set, do a fade or a blend is over here on the right side. You got your opacity level, and this is where if you want to uh, kind of make yourself look a little ghostly. I, uh, if you've seen some of my time-lapse video of drawing I'll be using this sometimes I'll draw a picture bring it in and I'll drop the opacity level down although it'll be the background when I'll be dropping down that way when I go over to trace over I can distinctly see my line separate from what I had in place but that's basically the first way and you can kinda get away with doing some stuff like that now before we get on to the other way there is one method I'm curious about doing I'm going to want to go ahead and try to do. Let me see if I can do this. Nope, come on. Yeah, by then I thought so. Yeah, I'll, there we go, get that. Let's see, I want to kind of get in all these spaces, a little bit, at least most of them. I want to do, let's see, select, invert select. I thought about this last night when I went to bed and I just now remembered I wanted to try it so I didn't even get a chance to uh, see if it works. So you get to experiment with me. Let's see, I want to move this up to here. Because I don't think it's going to let me, nope, it's not going to let me do nothing until I feel that in. Uh, it, well, it don't really matter which one. So... Now let's see, will let me do what I want to try to do, oops, I want to see something, and go ahead and select that in, go ahead and take that off, I want to see, I want to try the blur filter, I'm just curious if, uh, if I use a blur, where's the blur? Let's see, you can do a motion blur. Let's see how this would work. Oops, nope. I need to actually do the other way. Select inverse selection. Do a motion blur. So yeah, you can kind of do it this way of a motion blur. Um. I even know this is a little quick with the lasso, you, it would be best to go in and actually draw out the edge. But that's one way you can actually do it with the motion blur. So yeah, we stumbled across another way on how to do this fade and blend. 
And there's probably a couple other ways. I think there's one with a brush tool you might can do, but I just wanted to do this one right quick just to see if it will work. So that experiment proved fruitful information. Now we're actually going to go into creating the title frame for my video on Comfy UI Laura's. And this is the one reason why I decided to do this video is because I want to actually do something specific with the picture I use in the title frame and I actually had to look up how to do this and I figure I'll share it with you. So I'm just going to go and create a new file, standard 1920 by 1080. I'm going to bring in this picture here that I created in uh, Comfy and when I was playing around. Let's see, I want to get you close to being about the size of the frame. Mm. Don't matter too much. Let's see, I'm going to slide you over here. And I got this one off of uh, Pixels. Pixels is a good uh, website to go to to get free, um, usually copyright free. Sometimes they want you to give a little bit of a credit to whoever it is. But yeah, pixels.com is a good place. Let me get this over here so we can kind of see what I'm going to do. Now, how I'm going to want to blend in this front picture and this back picture is you do, you want the gradient tool. But you just don't want to select the gradient tool as is. You want to come over and select your eraser tool. And now, depending upon where I start and end, you can see it creates the gradient mess. And now it fades one picture into the other. So if I was to start here at this edge and go over here to this edge, you can see it just creates this fade effect. I wanted to be a little bit more. There we go. So now it fades the dad this picture and this picture and this is kind of what I was wanting because of uh, I'm doing comfy AI and that's basically what it is is using data information I do you want to uh, I want to flip transform I want to flip this layer over because for some reason um, this text is a little bit better than this text and so I kind of want to use the uh, readable text to be seen a little bit better. So let's see what it looks like when we do this. And boom. So now it looks like the data is forming in the picture. So now I got this picture to use for my comfy UI thumbnail. There we go. Got myself. And that's pretty much for this video. I hope this information was useful and helpful for some of you. If you like my content, please like and subscribe and check out my video on Comfy UI Laura's if you want to create some images that you can play around with like I did here. Other than that, have a nice day.